Evening, guys. Same process as yesterday. Please, we'll take some questions in English and then we'll take some from Italian media. Somewhere to start, please. Yeah, Jamie. Hi, Pep. Um, two questions, if I may. What did you think about the performance? And also, just firstly, is, is Kevin De Bruyne going to be all right for Arsenal? You just don't know. I don't know. I didn't speak with the doctors yet. Uh, says tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I will have more info tomorrow. Um, we we face a really really difficult team and champion from Italy during the last two or three years and uh, top class team, uh, physical. Uh, have all departments have a good build up with Sommer and Bastoni and all the players and transition, especially in the first half, that being alone without no pressure to the ball, we lose the ball and when that's up against that team they kill you. But um, I'm still really, really satisfied for the, the game we played and defending how they defend, they are masters of that, so deep, they help each other unbelievably. So you cannot expect to create a lot of chances, but the chance we create the first half, one from Bernardo and the special second half, so, so clear. And in this type of games, the difference is that we play much better than the two years ago, the final against them in the final Champions League. Um, yeah, I like everything on my team today, everything. Uh, and yeah, a little bit, you know, we prefer to win, but uh, yeah, still seven games, we'll see what happens. Um. I'm just on Kevin and Savinio, you know what they came off with, what problems they had? No, uh, I, I wanna, the reason why I want to, uh, against the team to defend 5-3-2 and every time the ball is one side, five players go there, they cannot contact with Rod in that position. They allow you to go in that situations and you have to turn the ball quick. And we need especially players in the small spaces, they move. Enrico. Phil and Gundo, they are the best that we have in that position, in the pocket, in small spaces, in for the uh, Phil turn and shoot, and the two crosses that Gundo was there. Uh, the other players don't have this, have another qualities. And the way they defend, uh, I was thinking uh, after 35, 40 minutes, I said, I want to make this substitution after what happened with Kevin. And the doctor said to me, he was not uh, ready to play, but I was thinking to change it ready anyway in the halftime. Pep, you changed at half time on Saturday as well. Is that? It's a new version of Pep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were, I was criticized because with six substitution, five or six, six? Uh, six. Six substitutions, I didn't make substitutions, and now I make substitutions at half time. And Arsenal would do it the same. But is, there, is that a, an indication that it's getting harder to pick the right team almost? No, it just. Sometimes I don't like it. I have weapons in the in the in the reason why was what I said before. So we need it against this structure five three two with the two strikers, Taremi and and Turam. And after Lautaro go with Rodri, they don't allow you to find this this pocket spaces. But always we can find it. And uh, and that's why I need to play in, the, in different specifics. And and that's all. Rob. I thought, um, you wouldn't usually play a, a top team like into this early in, in the competition. Is this a type of performance that, that lets you know that this group is ready to, to challenge again for, for the trophy? I know it's a long way to go. But no, it's a long way to go. Uh, you know me for many years. I want to talk about the trophies at all. So we knew how tough it is, but we play better than I said. I had the feeling we play. Of course, the fight Champions League. The motion is completely different. No, it's in the first game at home. It's completely at home than Istanbul. So. You have a certain ad advantage, you know, to play at home. But they defend really, really well. So I admire a lot the teams that have the ability to defend well. The transitions we concede the ball because it's, we lose the ball being alone, and that is impossible to defend. But we defend really well. We concede the clear chances with Lautaro maybe in the transition, but no much more than that. And against Inter and Milan, I know how good they are because you know, Barella is an exceptional player and Kachanaloglu and. They're a top, top class team, top, top team. So I know how difficult it is. We behave really well. So we would prefer to win, but I don't have any regrets. So I like a lot everything what we have done today, tonight, everything. John? And Pep, do you think that Sunday's match against Arsenal will provide s similar sort of challenges to the ones that you've had tonight? I don't know. I don't know the idea for Mikel is going to play. Uh, had to read it and adapt it, but. Uh, is another, 
unbelievable team. They defend really well. They don't concede chances. They don't concede goals. They are really good in many aspects. They control everything. So it was the, the biggest challenge title contenders the last two seasons. They are there and they will be there for many years because they created a depth, depth squad, a young team. Uh, so it's another good test, but you're in September. So I like to see the team. Many things we are better than the past. We are reading better than the past what we have done it but yeah we see what happened Sunday and the next games your last one English with James at the back please Pep, but obviously you know really intense game tonight and you've got another one on on Sunday it's a really intense week very early in the season and a lot of your big players actually haven't had much football Foden's not made a start yet it was Rodri's first start tonight you might possibly without Kevin Gundogan Walker Stones have only made one start are you a little, little bit concerned? It's, it's a, it's potentially too intense, too early, or that you could go into that game a little bit undercooked. Maybe, but this is what it is. I don't control the schedule, the calendar, and and we had to play Champions League draw with Inter at home, and now Arsenal was there, so, so no complaints at all. So it's what it is. The players behaved really well so far this season. Since the Community Shield, I had a lot of problems in that moment, that game. But in Premier League, we behave really good. And today again, we play to win. We we make a good performance, and and yeah, would love to win, and create more and more chances. But I give a lot of credit for the Open. The Open is an exceptional team. I knew it two years ago, and when I faced them, Italian teams are so difficult. But uh, yeah, we concede and they create chances in the transition. Some actions that they link with the striker, set the ball and run the opposite side. They are masters to do this. They went one or twice in the game. But so yeah, it was, it was good. I mean, in that level, in that period of level, we cannot expect to make a good performance. So I didn't expect it. The players know it and they run and they fight and we, we create enough chances to, yeah, to be close to the win. Take a few in Italian guys, Davide. Ciao, Pep. Um, ha fatto i complimenti all'Inter. Uh, qual è, secondo lei, la cosa più importante che ha fatto l'Inter per meritarsi questo pareggio? È una domanda per Simone. Uh, io solo la mia considerazione con quella squadra è altissima. Uh, admiro moltissimo quello che fanno perché so che si devono difendere 11 giocatori dietro, lo sanno fare, si aiutano e poi la transizione è velocissima. Uh, ma quando giocano in Italia, quando le altre squadre difendono dietro, hanno la capacità di fare bellissimi inserimenti con sei giocatori esterni, due attaccanti e due, due attaccanti esterni con Valeria, Mkhitaryan, Zilinski o Fratesi o whatever. So, yeah, I like, mi piace, mi piace molto come, come giocano per quello. Una grande considerazione alla mia squadra, alla nostra squadra, perché sappiamo contro chi abbiamo giocato e, e quando siamo capaci di fare quello che abbiamo fatto, uh, yeah, sono, sono felicissimo. Buonasera mister, mi consenta una piccola variazione al tema. E da circa un paio d'anni in Italia si dice che Pep Guardiola ha fatto di tutto per provare a portare bastoni al City. Volevo mm. sapere se questa cosa le risulta, se è vero. vera? E poi la, non è vera. Non è vero. E poi l'ultimissima, volevo chiederle come mai, se il motivo è tattico, come mai Holland contro l'Inter soffre sempre un pochino, trova poco spazio, se il motivo è tattico o se perché <ride> ha questo uomo addosso sempre? Un uomo addosso? No, soprattutto uno. Uno? Soprattutto. Oh, io, ve io vedo sei addosso. Sei. Tre e tre davanti. Quello che vedo io. È difficile per tutti, mette qualsiasi giocatore, qualsiasi oggi, qualsiasi giocatore nel mondo che gioca lì con, tre, con Bissek, Cervi e Bastoni, 5 metri, con Cianloglu, Varela e Zelinski. Eh, inserirsi più giocatori lì, quello che avevamo fatto con Gundogan 2 pala che aveva avuto, con Phil Foden davanti al portiere, eh, o transizione, ma transizione hanno più gamba di noi fisicalità sono più, più forte l'unica maniera è bene a fianco di Erling più giocatore e abbiamo avuto quattro lì so io non aspettavo guarda quando l'Inter difende in questa maniera qualsiasi squadra io non aspetto avere 
25 palle gol. Impossibile, io sono bravissimi. Do più credito a loro come difendono che a quello noi che non abbiamo fatto bene. No, fanno. Ma l'abbiamo avuto, si riflette, abbiamo avuto. È chiara e chiara davanti. Purtroppo non abbiamo fatto, insomma, era un portiere eccezionale. Va bene così. So, siete partita per loro, siete partita per noi. E vediamo che succede. Numero please. Salve mister, lei parla di una, un Manchester City migliore rispetto alla finale di due anni fa. Eh, in cosa ha visto eh, diversa l'Inter e come mai, eh, è, è vero che il calcio la palla è rotonda, però in cosa oggi eh, siete mancati e non siete riusciti magari a trovare quel guizzo che vi avrebbe permesso di vincere no, no, la partita? L'abbiamo fatto tutto per vincere. Abbiamo avuto pa più palle gol che la finale, ma la finale è diversa, non, non si può essere paragone. L'emozione è tutto diverso. Noi giocavamo a casa, questa partita a Milano sarebbe stata diversa pure. Loro avrebbero stato più, forse più, you know, più, più avanti, che ne so. Ma devo dire che non, loro lo volevano fare perché ascoltava la panchina. Avvicinarvi, avvicinarvi a giocare, avvicinarvi a giocare. Loro lo fanno e sono, controllano tutto. Il campione d'Italia, dai. E quando questo succede è un grandissimo rispetto e... Solo devo dire che mi, mi è piaciuta la mia squadra, abbiamo fatto quello per, in questa stagione dell'anno, con settembre, ottobre, ancora non siamo al, al top, ma abbiamo fatto, considerando come l'Inter, una, una buona gara. Last question, Prisca. È una questione extra, diciamo così. Tanti anni fa, dopo il triplete dell'Inter, si era detto che eri stato molto vicino poi a arrivare a allenare l'Inter. Io? Sì, come giocatore o allenatore? Come allenatore, dopo, dopo, dopo dove? Dopo, dopo, dopo l'anno del triplete dell'Inter, quando l'Inter ha cambiato. Quando il triplete io andare all'Inter? Dopo, dopo il triplete, non, non quello. Mai, mai, mai. Non chiamato questa voce, poi non so perché. Non era vero. In Spagna e in Italia c'erano tante voci. <ride> Ma avremo mai l'onore di vedere il campionato italiano era questa domanda. Mi piace molto Italia, ma sono benissimo qua. Il calcio inglese strepitoso si diverte tantissimo uno qua la tranquillità che un allenatore allena qua non si trova in nessuna parte del mondo e poi la società è, è fortissima quindi io mi trovo molto 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 bene qui grazie buon ritorno a Italia